Hello everybody, I'm Charlie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious pot roast. That's right. Now this is not just your ordinary pot roast that you just take and put in the oven. Now see down here where I'm from, New Orleans, we like to take our roast and stuff it with garlic, herbs, and spices. That's right. Now, this recipe calls for a nice, flavorful, tender, and succulent roast beef that you're going to love. It is absolutely delicious. And not only that, it also has a nice little beef gravy to go along with that. And I'm going to show you how to make that as well. So, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Okay, this is all what you're going to need to make your pot roast. And we're going to get started with our ingredients. Okay, you're going to need one rump roast beef and this is about four pounds okay now I also want to let you know that this is a very tough cut of beef so it requires for you to slow cook this in a slow cooker for this recipe okay no exceptions alright now and for your gravy you're gonna need some vegetable oil and some flour and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make what you call a roux a roux is basically a thickener for soups, sauces, and gravies, and we're going to need it to be a nice dark brown color, but not too not too dark, just a little shade lighter, okay? All right. And along with that, you're going to need some better than beef bouillon beef base, okay? Now, I got to let you know, guys, that this is absolutely delicious. I'm telling you, you could forget about using beef broth. This is awesome this is very good beef broth don't have nothing on this all right so you're gonna need this all right okay and for our seasonings you're gonna need some salt some Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning some Chef Paul Perdon's Portrait Magic one yellow onion bell pepper and some celery and along with that um, you're gonna need two pods of garlic and rosemary and what we're going to do with this garlic and rosemary is that we're going to take this and we're going to stuff this into our roast okay now I know some people just like to take their roast and just put it in the oven don't stuff it or anything but me I love garlic and rosemary in my roast okay so that's what we're going to need alright now and last but not least you're going to need a slow cooker now this is a seven quart slow cooker and we're gonna need this, we're gonna need this to cook our beef in. Okay. Now you have to remember, this is a very tough cut of beef, so you gotta have a slow cooker for this recipe. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I don't want people trying to go off at me and tell me, "Oh, Charlie, you didn't tell me not to put it in the oven." So. Don't put it in the oven. You must have a slow cooker for this recipe. I'm going to show you what the slow cooker looks like. Alright? You got to have this. Alright? No exceptions. Okay? Alright. And there you have it. Let's get straight to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. And wear gloves too if you have any. Now we're going to chop up our seasoning. Now we're going to chop up a half of yellow onion. I'm going to chop up one half of a bell pepper. Make sure you remove the core out of the center. And that's how it's going to look when you get done. And we're going to go ahead and chop that up. Now we're going to chop up two stalks of celery. Make sure you rinse your celery off before you chop it. And we're going to chop that up. Now we're going to chop up our garlic. Remove it out of the cocoon. And you're going to take a clove and you're going to uh, chop it into one sixteenth of an inch thick slices and that's how it's going to look all right guys and there you have it and we're going to use this to stuff our roast now we're going to get started with our roux we're going to preheat our fire to medium high heat all right so in a large nonstick pan with a wooden spoon we're going to add one half cup of oil 
and to that we're going to add one half cup of flour and we're going to go ahead and mix that in and what we want to achieve this we want this roux to be a nice dark brown color okay and this roux could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to brown all the way so you got to keep stirring and after four minutes your roux will start to thicken and change in color all right, it's been about four minutes, and as you can see, our roux is, has thickened, and it's starting to change in color. And this is the most important stage because you must keep stirring. It's very important. And if your roux burns, do not give up. Start over. All right? All right, it's been about 15 minutes, and our roux is a nice brown color. And even though if the fire is off, the roux is going to start cooking, so you want to keep stirring for an additional two to three minutes. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn our fire off. And we're done. We're going to set this on the side and let it cool. Now we're going to get started with our roast. Now we're going to remove it out of the package. And uh, we're going to clean this roast off with uh, cold water. And as you're rinsing it off, make sure you rub it real good. Make love to it, you know. <laughs> there you go. Rub the sides, the back, everything. Make love to it. <laughs> All right, now using a uh, sharp knife, we're gonna go ahead and cut a hole in it. Cut a hole straight down into the roast. And we're gonna take some of our uh, garlic slices that we've cut, and we're gonna add that into the hole. We're gonna go ahead and add another one. And you're gonna continue to do this until you reach the other side of the roast, okay? And that's how it's gonna look when you get done. So that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen holes. There you go. All right, now I'm not done yet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some in the sides too. Now you don't have to do this if you want to. That's this is what I like to do. All right, and even the back too. You gotta do the back. Put garlic everywhere. And you make sure you save about three cloves of garlic to make your uh, make our garlic rosemary um, rub. Now we're gonna get started. Now you're going to add about a, a teaspoon of oil into a food processor. And to that you're going to add about three, cloves, three to four cloves of garlic right in there. And we're going to add some fresh rosemary in there. Add as much as you like. And we're going to blend this for about two minutes. All right, guys, and there we have it. Now, you want to make sure you smell it and make sure all the flavors are all one. And there we have it. Now, we're going to go ahead and season our roast. Now, you just want to put a little bit of seasoning. So, we're going to add a little sprinkle of salt on, the, on both sides. I'll turn it over, put some more salt on there. All right, and we're going to add a, a little sprinkle of Tony Sacheray's Creole season. Just a sprinkle, light, light sprinkle. All right, and you're going to sprinkle lightly over the back, and that's all you really need. And we're going to sprinkle a small amount of the Tony Sacheries, I mean not the Tony Sacheries, the Chef Paul Perdome's uh, Portrait Magic on both sides. And there you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my little secret ingredient. This will give it a little bit more flavor. And I'm going to go ahead and rub that on there. I'm going to go ahead and put some on the back too. About a teaspoon of that. And rub that along the back. And this will give the roast a nice flavor. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and add our garlic and rosemary rub right on there. All around the roast. Go ahead and turn it on the side. Rub it on there too. Now turn it on the back. Rub it right back there too. <laughs> All right, y'all, now we have it. Now turn that back over to the front. You're going to make sure you wash your hands again, because I'm not wearing gloves. <laughs> All right, we're going to put our uh, top on there and put it, in the free put it in the refrigerator for about four hours. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and make my rice. Here I have a pot with some water. We're going to add the rice right in there. Go mix that in. I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a ball. Okay, my mixture is at a ball. Now I'm going to let it... Ball for about at least about five to six minutes. 
All right, and we're going to go ahead and have a taste to see if it's done. All right, y'all, it's done. That was fast, huh? <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and drain my rice into a strainer. Rice shouldn't take that long. It should take about eight minutes to boil and everything. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, rinse this off with uh, cold water. Rinse it real good. I'm going to go ahead and sit it back on my stove. Put a lid on top, and there you go. All right, now it's time to get started with our beef base. Okay, so in a medium-sized bowl, we're going to add one, one-half cups of hot water. All right, and to that, we're going to add one tablespoon and a half of the Better Than Beyond Beef Base. And we're going to go ahead and mix that in. Should be a nice dark brown color once we're done. All right, now we're done. Now we're going to go ahead and have a taste of this. And it should taste good. Now I want to let you guys know that when you make your gravy, this will be concentrated. So we don't want to add too much of salt or anything to it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and uh, take our roast out of the refrigerator. All right, we're going to preheat our fire to medium high heat. Okay, so in a large pan, we're going to go ahead and sear our roast. So we're going to add our roast right into the pan. I'm going to let this sear on four sides for four minutes. All right, it's been about four minutes. Go ahead and take my tongs and flip it. Oops, made a little mess. Flip it over to the other side and let that fry for four minutes. All right, it's been about four minutes. Now, as you can see, I got a new tool now. <laughs> now go ahead and uh, flip that over. And we're going to let that fry for about four minutes. All right. In about four minutes, we're going to turn that over. Fry that for four minutes. All right, it's been about four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. Oh, Lord, it's giving me a hard time. All right. Now we got it. Now we're going to let that fry for four minutes. Right, it's been about four minutes. We're going to go ahead and turn that over. Fry for four minutes. All right. Now we're going to flip it over. And we're going to fry that side for four minutes. And we're done. We're going to turn our fire off. All right, guys. We are finished. Ready to slow cook this baby. All right. All right. On our slow cooker, we're going to turn our heat setting to high. And we're going to take our roast and we're going to add it into the crock pot. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and add our onion. Remember we chopped up a half of onion. Half of the bell pepper that was chopped. Add that in there. And add the celery. Add it all in there. Should be about one cup of each ingredient. And we're going to go ahead and mix this in. Now I want to fry my seasoning but I said I don't feel like doing all that so all right and we got that mixed in now we're gonna go ahead and add our beef base right in there and we're gonna go ahead and mix this in all right now we're gonna go ahead and add a little seasoning we're gonna sprinkle lightly sprinkle some salt I'm going to lightly sprinkle some Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. Lightly sprinkle some Chef Paul Perdomo's Poetry Magic. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. And we're going to let this uh, slow cook for eight hours. So we're going to go ahead and put a lid on top. And we're going to let this slow cook for eight hours. All right, it's been about eight hours now, and our roast is done, ladies and gentlemen. The only thing we got to do is make our gravy now. Look how beautiful that is. Mm-mm-mm, look at that. I bet you that beef base probably have a lot of flavor in it. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Now, we're going to check and see how tender that is. Oh, man, look at that. Nice and tender. Oh, my God. Look at that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take my roast out of here. Place that onto a pan. I'm going to go ahead and strain all of that onion and celery and all that out of there. I don't want all that into my gravy. Now, I'm not going to get rid of it all. I'm going to put some back, just a little bit back into my roast, into my gravy. All right. And here we have it, guys. Now, we're going to go ahead and 
thickness. All right, so in a large saucepan, we're going to go ahead and add our um, roux in there. And we're going to stir this. And we're going to let this uh, heat for about two minutes. All right, it's been about two minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and add our uh, beef base right in there. We're going to go ahead and mix that in. All right, now our mixture is at a simmer. I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning. I'm going to add just lightly sprinkle a little salt. Lightly sprinkle some Tony Cheshire's Creole seasoning. Lightly sprinkle some Chef Paul Prudhomme's Portrait Magic. And that's all the seasoning you're going to need. That's it. We're going to go ahead and mix that in. And we want to achieve, we want this to be a nice thick gravy. All right? So let this cook for 30 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my roast right into here, right into the gravy. I'm going to go ahead and add some of my uh, onion and celery and bell pepper back in there. Just a little bit, not too much. Go ahead and stir that in. Now you guys don't necessarily have to follow this step. You can just leave the roast out if you want. I'm going to go ahead and cover that and let it simmer for 30 minutes. Go ahead and set my timer for 30 minutes. All right, time is up. It's been about 30 minutes now, and look at that. Look at that gravy. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, my God. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me show you how tender that is. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. And there you have it, guys. Beef pot roast. Go ahead and cut your slice. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Got me some rice and macaroni on it. Mm. It's good. Oh, man. Taste that garlic. You can taste the rosemary. Very good. Nice and tender too. Mm. Oh. The Yardish roast is so good. It's nice, it's tender, it's juicy. Don't get no better than this. I remember roast used to be my favorite dish as a child. It's still my favorite dish, even as an adult. Mm. And there you have it. Hot roast. Made by New Orleans native. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like up, subscribe to my channel so you can enjoy all of my delicious recipes cooked right here in my kitchen. If you have any questions or comments, please post them or you can email me at charliethecookandrews at gmail.com. Until then, take care and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.